so. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. We need to give a little update here. Um, Harry's stepsister is getting married in less than two weeks, less than 10 days. And we have been going back and forth about where we're going to be location wise in terms of going to an airport, the cost of flights, where we're going to leave the car. And we've kind of had to unfortunately write off the idea of going it was just not looking realistic for us um, and we just weren't going to be able to do it but some things have changed flight prices have actually gone down and we're kind of here closer to Wintick than we thought we would be and we figured out a storage solution for the car so it looks like we're going to be going back home not for long though no, only for about a week. A flying visit to have a good old shindig yeah. at the wedding. Also, Harry's stepbrother is over from Australia and we don't know when we're going to see him again. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, we're going to see a lot of people and it's a big family event for your family. Yeah, I feel like these big events don't come around often. It's I want to be there. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to miss out on the party. No and we can continue our journey when we get back. We may be a little bit slower on our trip further north in Namibia, but for a very good reason. Mm. So, there we go, guys. But we haven't told anyone. No, only, so it's a Only Sophie and EJ, who are whose wedding married. it is. So we are planning to head home and surprise all of our family. So we're gonna bring you guys with us and show them their reaction. Hopefully it's a good one, because that would be a bit of a fail if it's not. What if it was a bad reaction? Yeah, if they're like, oh, for God's sake, you're back yeah. again. Or a heart attack or something. Okay, mm. bye. Morning guys, so yesterday we were in a town called Oos. We were staying at a nice little campsite called the Bramberg Rest Camp. Um, we actually got speaking to the owner of that campsite. He said there's actually some rock paintings close to the area, which not a lot of people know about and not a lot of people go to. Um, and so he very kindly with um, an, a friend of his who does a lot of conservation work within the Oos area, he they both took us to go and see the rock paintings, which are actually older than the White Lady painting. They're, they said they were about 6,000 years old, which you can't even fathom something being that old and people living in that area and what it was like at the time. I kept saying to her, like, I wish I could just go back in time and just almost be a fly on the wall and just watch how these people lived and how they created these paintings. It's just so interesting. Anyway, we left Ooze like late morning yesterday and came down towards Henty's Bay and met up with Andy and MH. We wanted to spend some time with them before we flew back home. So we're going to go into Henty's Bay and just get on some Wi-Fi and do a little bit of work and grab some breakfast and then we'll be heading inland. I don't know where yet, but we'll kind of probably go on our way to winter because that's where we're flying from. So three and a bit hours later, we made it to the King's Highway rest camp. So I'm just gonna go into reception now and see what the crack is. So the camping is a hundred rand, hundred dollars. She said rand actually, so mm. it is rand. Right. Don't shake your head at me right. behind the camera. Hundred dollars per person. All rand, same thing. It's quite um, good, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Although it's not exactly it's trucks and things, yeah, we're right big in, main we're road. In a town, but we so. are, yeah, we're right in a busy town, so good place to stop in a busy town for a hundred rand a night.
cost of vehicle storage at the Elisenheim Guest Farm is one euro per day. Where's it gone? I don't know. But I think it's gone in the bush. I don't think it's going to come back out, do you? I don't know. We've just come out for a hike, guys, and when we were on our way, on our way out on the hike, we heard some like reeds moving around. It kind of sounded like it could be a snake. And then as we were coming back, we just went round a corner and Harry just saw quite a big snake. Harry nearly stepped on it, it was that close. I think it was actually a black mamba, which I'm sure most of you will know, but that is a extremely poisonous snake. Very dangerous if you get bitten by one of those snakes. And now I'm quite nervous to walk her back. We've just got back to camp after going for a little hike and as we were coming back through the reception area we saw the owners of this site, their son, and we were just asking him a few details about <coughs> airport shuttles on Wednesday when we head back home and vehicle storage and all of that kind of thing and then we were asking him about the snake that we saw and we explained what it looked like um, and the way that it was sort of positioned and its head was up and the length of it and everything like that and he was like yeah that sounds definitely like a black mamba so he was also telling us that black mambas are the only snake that can bite backwards so it could be facing away from us and then all of a sudden could turn around and they could be quite aggressive particularly if their nest is nearby so I think we were quite lucky that that snake didn't appear to be aggressive with us or just kind of didn't come near us at all it just went into the reeds and disappeared and we didn't see it again but yeah it was quite scary and now I feel like I'm really on edge like looking around for there to be another snake somewhere so I'm just gonna make like a pasta bake or something we're gonna try pasta bake in the poiki we've not done that before but I reckon it will work quite well so I'm just chopping up a load of veggies and Harry's getting a fire going over there How's it going? Good. I used all the fire lighters yesterday, so I just put it on the gas stove to get it going. Oh, it's worked? Yeah, it's kind of worked. Yeah. What did you think of your snake experience? I didn't freak out like I thought I would. No, it was kind of opposite. Yeah, I mean, I, I do not like snakes. Whether they're black mumbers or bloody grass snakes, I don't like them. But I actually wanted to go closer, weirdly. Really weird? Oh. Oh. Cheesy. Mmm, not surprised. Mmm, yum.
So we've come into the city today and we've just stopped off to have a coffee and some breakfast and now we've come into Bushwaka in Bintuk, which is actually, if you've watched the Grand Tour Namibia special, this is where they come and get all their camping gear, so it's quite cool. So we're just picking up a couple of bits for friends back home that have asked us to bring some stuff back. The very few friends that know we're coming back. And then Harry also wants to get a another bride grid like what we've got already, but to just have at home. So when we go home, we've got a fresh one there because our one is quite old and a bit knackered now. But yeah, this shop is awesome. We'll show you around. What are you looking for? This is what Stan wants, but he wants it in stainless. Oh, right. And what are you looking for? Oh, you know. Cool shop for that. Mm, very cool. So guys, we're here in Vintuk International Airport. The last few days have been a bit of a mad rush trying to get the car sorted, cleaned and stored at a Liesenheim guest farm, which yeah. um, is a really cool place for international travellers or overlanders. Yeah. They've got a campsite there, a beautiful restaurant which we ate at last night. Mm. Highly um, recommend it guys. Mm. If you're in the area, if you need st vehicle storage, very secure, very safe. So we need to update you on what happened today. So we had an email two o'clock this morning saying your flight's been cancelled. Um, <laughs> weird, because we just before then we had just had an email saying book in yeah. or check in for your flight. Anyway, so they put us on a flight tomorrow afternoon, which would get us into London pretty late for the surprise. Yeah, it would get us in <coughs> the day before the wedding, like in the afternoon. So cutting it really fine. Thankfully we met a helpful young man at the ticket office who found well, us. Also Christina. Well Christina, so Christina from Elisenheim. Who, yeah Christina and Andres who own the campsite and everything there. Um, Christina runs shuttles so transfers from Elisenheim to the airport and she was straight on the phone as soon as we told her what the situation was. Straight on the phone to the airlines to the airport trying to help us figure out what we were going to do um, and she brought us to the airport and then we went to the desk with her and she helped us figure out and yeah we met a very helpful man mm. who have you finished <laughs> i was just giving some backstory close backstories i like to for everyone to be on the same page oh, yeah. you make most of them end up in the bloopers section <laughs> uh what were we saying exactly <laughs> Are you talking about the helpful no, man? No, the helpful man, he basically found us a workaround. So he's put us on a flight to Luanda, which is in northern Angola. <clears throat> then from Angola to Frankfurt, then Frankfurt to Heathrow. Mm -hmm. And it actually gets us in only a couple of hours yeah. later than the original. the original flight. So although it's an extra flight. Yeah, um, it's an extra stop and it's longer, quite a lot longer travel time. Like 26 hours or something. But So yeah, we're just here waiting at the airport to check in our bags. Doing some work. Yeah. So it's all good. We're gonna we're gonna make it. So flight number one. We're probably the last ones to get on the plane. Yeah, We've been here the longest, <laughs> but uh, here we go. <laughs> On to flight number two. Mm. We had a bit of a weird experience where the uh, people at immigration just took our passports off of us and walked off with them. And a group of other people as well that were flying to Frankfurt. But, so that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I waited for about an hour and then got a passport and tickets back. Mm. But yeah, this is our long flight. I think, what, eight hours? Nine, Nine hours, hours or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
And just like that, it was a new day. Yeah, we're now going on to our final flight. So we've got two hours and then our final flight is about an hour and a half. And then we'll be back in the UK. Crazy, eh? We're both tired, we didn't sleep really at all on that flight. It's so hard to sleep on a plane. I know, I know. Especially when there's blokes around you all snoring. <laughs> oh well, we're nearly home. <laughs> Touchdown, we made it, made and the it. best thing is we don't have to get on another plane for at least 10 days. Yeah. Can't believe we're back in England now. I know. And now, the best part of the whole thing is we can surprise our family. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm hiding. <laughs> what do we do now? Hi! Ah! What? Ah! You're traveling, are you? <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, look at I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> they were picking Angie up from school. Her little sister. She's coming into the car now. We're going to surprise her. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Hello, where are you home? <laughs> where are you home? <laughs> where are you home? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Hello. That's, exa that's exactly what my reaction was. <laughs> Hello, oh, wait! <laughs> You rat bags. <laughs> <laughs> Harry came back from the pub once, absolutely flat. And I was playing, I was playing every week. We've got mullet and Ollie is short and ginger. Hello guys, so the wedding was so much fun with everybody, we surprised everybody, managed to pull it off and yeah, just had the best time with all of Harry's family at the wedding and lots of friends as well and now it's Monday and we are on our way down south to see my family and I've managed to somehow keep it a secret from them and just keep it all on the down low that we've been away for four days now, um, yeah, so it's going to be a big surprise. My dad's house. I don't know why I'm whispering because I don't think anyone can hear me. And for waiting in the bushes because he's just at the supermarket. I just called him to say hi, let's have a catch up, Dad. And he just said, Oh, I'm just at the Sainsbury's checkout. I'll call you back in five minutes. So we're gonna wait until he pulls up onto the drive. We're hiding. <laughs> and then we're gonna wrap around. She's in the boat. Oh, 
so since we actually really filmed anything we've just been taking this time where we've been back at home to catch up with friends and family and stuff and it has been so much fun um, and we're now at Gatwick Airport we're here quite a bit early for our flights we're actually just waiting to check in and check our bags in and stuff and this flight should be a lot quicker and a lot smoother than the flight we got out here back to the UK and we're just chilling Harry's a bit angry Harry? Hmm? We got here too early. Angry. So not long now, we'll be back in the Namibia. So we've arrived back at the guest farm that we've kept the car at while we've been away and we're both like zombies, absolutely exhausted but excited to pick up our little home again. See how it's doing after, oh it's been like two weeks two isn't weeks, it? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure looking forward to a nap good. to be honest. No I'm sure it's absolutely fine. The fridge I'm not sure, the fridge oh. might need a good old clean, let's have a look. state we left it in. Yeah. Something we're quite excited about um, getting on the car are these nice new armrests. Adrian from One Stone Armrest reached out to us while we were back at home, which is fortunate because obviously they shipped back to the UK. So that was handy. They're really quite impressive. You know you get these sort of vinyl plasticky armrests that other people do. These are like a silicon foam. So they look pretty comfortable. Packaging was really nice. Obviously we didn't bring it with us because we've just flown back mm -hmm. they give you these uh, wet wipes so you can clean the door card and then it's got like this 3m double-sided tape so I'm hoping that's gonna be nice and strong and give us a nice armrest which we've been missing so nice we'll get them on let's do it Yeah, that's going to be quite nice actually. Yeah. It's right in the place that I would normally just rest my elbow in the 
sort of angle of the window and the door so and they look super smart as well the black really matches the um the door cards awesome Lovely. so we'll put um we'll take his instagram and yeah and tags. the link yeah get yourself a pair of those they're pretty cool and the, the uh, double-sided tape seems to be yeah. super strong so nice one thank you adrian after getting the car sorted we made our way to the off-road center in vintook to have some very exciting upgrades done to our landy We'll be sharing more on this in our next video. Thank you so much for watching guys if you are enjoying our videos please make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one